Lord Ram, the supreme personality of Godhead, appeared on earth as King Dashara's son. As he grew up, he won all the hearts of the Ayodhya citizens. Seeing this, King Dasharath wished to install Ram as the future king of Ayodhya. <coughs> However, Mantara, the, king, the maid of Kaikei, who was one of Dasharath's wives, poisoned the mind of Kaikei, resulting in Ram's exile to the forest. One day, as Lord Ram, his wife Sita, and his younger brother Lakshman were in exile, the Rakshasi Shripanika happened to see Ram. Seeing Lord Ram's divine beauty, she became attracted and approached Ram. What a handsome young man. I'm Sapanaka, sister of Ram. I'm captivated by beauty which marriage. Who's that ugly, skinny girl who wants you like a leech? Don't mind her. My dear lady, my name is Ram and I'm the son of Queen Dashrath. This is my wife, Sita, and my other brother Lakshman. As you can see, I'm already Lakshman. You may instead approach my brother, you will know my name is my husband. My dear lady, you should know that Ram is my master and I am his slave. Why then do you wish to marry me? Do you want to become the slave of a slave? Ram, a union brother insults me in front of the skull. I'll devour her, then I can have you both. <laughs> Seeking for revenge, the Rakshasi went to her brothers, Kara and Dushana. Seething with anger due to seeing their sister's nose and ears cut off, those two went to attack Ram with an army of 14,000 Rakshasas. However, Ram destroyed Kara and Dushana along with their army. Shapanika then went to her brother Ravan. I am the lord of this universe and conqueror of the three worlds. I am so powerful that even the demigods fear me and obey my every command. I am the invincible Ravan. <laughs> 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 What has happened to your face? Who has dared to do this? Who has dared provoke me in such a way? Tell me the name and the whereabouts of the wretch. I shall surely have revenge for such an insult. Shapanika explained how she had seen Ram and insult been insulted by Lakshman. She also described how Kara and Dushana, along with 14,000 Rakshasas, had been slain. You have to avenge me, brother. You insulted by these humans. Mere human has destroyed my army. Impossible. Just see, Father! Look at how much trouble these humans have done! I told you! You should have killed them all when we had the chance! You are right, Indrajit! These humans are more trouble than I thought. Shapanaka, I will immediately go and kill Ram and Lakshman, and then you can drink their gushing blood. Oh. Wait, oh. I have a better idea. Why didn't you kidnap his wife Sita? She's so beautiful. She should be your queen. Yes, I shall have Sita for myself. <laughs> Brother, I have a favor to ask from you. What do you want? Will you have Sita? Promise me, Ram. Get out of my sight. I am not going to promise you anything. Oh, don't be like that. Please let me have lunch, man. Did you not hear what I just said? Get out or I'll kill you. Marichi, I want you to go to Dandaka Forest and become a golden deer, so beautiful and so mesmerizing that you get Sita's attention, for I plan to kidnap her. Ravana, do not be so foolish. Please do not invite your own death. Marichi, I didn't call you here for your pathetic advice. I called you here for your help. I'll give you a choice, of course. You can die at the hands of Ram, or you can die at mine. What will it be? I would rather die in the hands of Ram than of yours. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ordered by Ravan, Marichi assumed the form of an enchanting golden deer. You will do. Bewildered by the deer's extraordinary beauty, Sita called for Ram and asked him to get, get the deer for her. Ram agreed to get the deer for her, but Lakshman objected, for he suspected that the deer was the work of the demons that inhabited Dendika Forest and often wished others harm. Ram told Lakshman that Sita had never asked him for anything before, therefore he was obliged to get the deer for her. 
Ram told Lakshman to remain behind and protect Sita. Ram then began chasing Marichi, who led him deep into the forest. Ram caught the deer by shooting it down with an arrow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> On being shot, Marichi assumed his original form, and then screamed out, imitating the voice of Ram. Lakshman! Sita! Help me! Thinking that Ram had been hurt or was in danger, Sita became fearful and told Lakshman to go and help him. Lakshman refused and told Sita he had been ordered by Ram to stay with her to protect her from the demons of the forest. Sita then spoke harshly to Lakshman and accused him of being Ram's enemy. Unable to bear such accusations, Lakshman agreed to go to Ram. Mother, I shall go to Ram as you have demanded. I shall draw a line here. This barrier shall protect you. Do not pass over it, whatever you do. Now it's my chance. Ah! What is this? It seems to be some sort of protective barrier. I cannot cross without burning myself. Fulfill my desire and be my queen. 
Sita chastised Radhan and told him to return her to Ram. She told him to go and ask for Ram's forgiveness. No! Never! I shall never surrender to a mere human being. Mm. You simple wretch, you shall die for it! Silence! Wicked one, how dare you steal me from my lord! Look here! I'll give you time, a full year. If you don't accept me, I'll get my Rakshashas to kill you, then eat you. Had anyone else spoken to me in such a way, I would have immediately killed them. But you, you are fortunate, for my love for you prevents me from doing so. Shopanoha makes Sita love you, and I don't care about how you do it. You foolish girl, if you don't send Brother and I'll take great pleasure in ripping your flesh upon drinking your blood. <laughs> convinced that Hanuman was her well-wisher. Hanuman asked Sita that if she so wished, he could take her on his back to Ram. There would be no need for her to tolerate the harsh behaviour of the Rakshasas towards her. Sita refused, saying that it would be proper for Ram to kill Ravan first and then rescue her. Hanuman then decided to destroy the Ashok garden knowing that it was very dear to Ravan. He thought that if he were to do this, he may get an audience with Ravan himself. That would give Hanuman an opportunity to try to make Ravan understand that what he was doing was wrong. Hanuman began tearing down the trees and knocking them about so that it caused great damage. What's this?
Indrajin, what are you doing? And who are you? Hanuman explained who he was, that he was the messenger and servant of Lord Ram. He told Ravan that if he valued his own life, he should return Sita to Ram. Ravan became enraged. How dare you, impudent monkey! Who do you think you are? I ought to kill you! Yes, wait! I have a better idea. The greatest valuable of a monkey is his tail. Destroy the tail! Then will be worse than death. Excellent idea, my son. Set the monkey's tail on fire. <laughs> I grant you that desire. I shall also give you the everlasting fame of being my greatest servant. We shall now build a bridge across the sea to Lanka. Once on shore, we shall attack immediately. Let this war begin with no delay! Shamelessly dare to steal my wife during my absence. 